from HD and move on. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Uh, Did you build up the wall so collar? Otherwise, the feather people. Yeah, are oh, yeah, yeah. We need to put in the roof. Or roof on. Put in the the roof. Let's put There's in a roof, roof on it. I, we need to put it in. Uh, we can do that real quick. I'm gonna just put. Let, let's just put up barrier. Uh, I guess we can put on the roof. Well, no. If, see, the problem is if we put on a roof, people are gonna be on top of it. We don't uh, want that's that. right. It's probably better to just put up. Uh... Yeah. Alright, what's the best way to do this? Um. Hey Jax, are you handling the roof or should I do the wall? I will attempt to. I make the promises. <laughs> Trying to think of a good way to do it. Alrighty, uh, we'll put in a wall. Oh God. Um, Twitch is live. Somebody who's watching, let me know if you guys can hear me fairly clearly. Do is there any like background noise, anything like that? Hey, Tier, can you also? Ah, uh, our voices uh, are live. I have to mute the stream. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that confused me. I was so confused. Uh, what's up, Aya? Uh, do me a favor. Uh, on that uh, challenge link, can you see if you can edit any of the things, like scores and stuff? You shouldn't be able to, but I want to make sure if I send this, this uh, link that people aren't able to do. Like, if you go to matches and then like cover over where it says report scores and then try to like enter something. I don't even see a report scores. Uh, hmm. you're under like Group A matches. Yeah, I, I can't. I can't even report scores. When you hover over Team Durnguard and Golden Kelp, it doesn't bring up like a nope. little icon to the right. Nope. Cool. All right. Off. I'm going to send. Um. I can't think of a good way to put barriers around here. <laughs> An easy way on the, until unless we just kind of build it up, right? Yeah, I can't think of an easy way. Like it would take forever to build it high enough to. Actually, once we have the first layer, I think we can extend it. Yeah. Place air barrier. Oh. What the hell? Is this not a wooden axe? Okay. Alright, cool. So basically each team gets five fights. That's cool. Oh, so... Okay. Cuboid. There we go. Replace air barrier. And then... Expand... Five up. Oh, I did it. I think that should be tall enough, right? It comes up. This works. Here. I don't think it's tall enough because if you have a feather right here, you just... Hmm. Okay. It just needs to be taller. So expand another five up. Think that'll do it. So ten. Not tall enough. <laughs> Damn. Needs to be like five taller. Hold on. Alright, but well we should probably just get started with this. Feathers or no feathers. Yeah. We'll just teleport people out. Yep. I need to turn off this resource pack. Confiscate their feathers. Alrighty. Okay. Um, let's transition over. Alrighty, I guess, um, welcome to, uh, <laughs> the, uh, first tournament of this, uh, 
this iteration of Atlas. Let's go into cinematic mode. There we go. Now we got smooth camera. Um, I was gonna broadcast uh, the stream to everybody because I don't think everyone's here. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, let's, let's get more people here. Looks like we got a few people watching. Hopefully, we can get some more. Yep. Right, chat's a little bit uh, less in the face. Um, and if we take a look at our uh, challenge thing, <laughs> I don't even know how you say those. Challenge. challenge. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> um. We're gonna be, um, yeah. The way we're gonna be doing this is a, a round robin with uh, two pools um, of six teams each, and then the top two teams from each of the pools will then move on to a semifinal uh, type scenario. And those uh, are we gonna do those best of five, or just gonna keep those best of three and best of five for the I think final? best of three works for those two. Okay. Um, Keep things simple. Yeah. Don't want things breaking. So, um, <laughs> do we just want to go down the list in terms of rounds for, um, you know, Group A, Group B, um, or do we want to go Group A and then Group B, one from Group no, B? No, let's group go. B. Let's go. Uh, oh yeah, let, well, let's, let's just get yeah, let's the just list. do the matches. Okay. Alrighty. Um. So I guess first up is Team Durngard versus Golden Kelp. So. so yeah, somebody broad broadcast that in uh, the chat. Make sure those people are here. So it looks like Ved is offline. <laughs> Great start. <laughs> yeah. Well, if there are people missing, we can always jump down. We have enough rounds that. Yep. Round if need be. That is true. So we're just gonna skip to the second one. What lines? The lion in the sun versus animal jam. Yeah. Sure. Chats. Um, so, attorney prep, line and sun, and who? Animal Jam? Line and sun versus Animal Jam. What the heck? That's never a good sound. <laughs> Hopefully. That'd be a big problem. Out. You can't have uh, special characters in there. You can't. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, we're gonna uh, have to fix Nord Nordkelt's thing. What's going on? Uh, okay, I can't actually see what errors are occurring. Uh, what is going on? All right, I'm gonna turn this opacity back up. Holy crap! People are talking in chat. Um, can I mute some stuff? <laughs> uh, let's mute global. Mute trade. We need to get started with this thing. Cool. Alright. Um, so who is right. it again? It's the lion and the... Oh, you need the people? Yeah. Uh, Alright, so lion and sun and animal jam, right? Yep. Turn. Yep. Lion in the Sun is Scythodome and L. Okay. And. Yeah, it's 
it's not it's it's saying that there's some sort of error occurring and I'm scared now <laughs> uh, hold while we get through some uh, technical difficulties. hold for duels bugs <laughs> yes <laughs> man I feel like I've done that before <laughs> just give me 30 seconds God damn it, some player managed to get on top of the barrier wall anyway. <laughs> of course. There are no folks in passing say. <laughs> Thanks everyone for holding with us as we get through this. We promise we're not normally this inept. Tear any report on the duels bugs? I'll be right back. Okay. Well, hold hold on. We can we can go back to the first one because they're uh, they're here. They switched out. Team. So, Golden Kelp, uh, Team Durangard versus Golden Kelp. Uh, so, who's their substitute? They don't have one. Oh, it's uh Sun one, two, three or soon. So it's it's Chris and Sun versus Adara and Kite.
Oop, you cut out. Isn't actually a what? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, it's like I I know we know this works. Well, what's a what's a tournament without a little technical difficulty? So for stream that didn't actually hear what happened. There's no tournament arena set up. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm quickly setting that up right now. Tears are broken. Uh, luckily, no. It was just that the tournament arena wasn't actually set up. So I'm doing, I'm doing that real quick. <laughs> Alright, well at least we know what's wrong. Yeah. So... You cannot hear me. Give it a few seconds, Shard. I just fixed that. Alright. Oh, no, we can hear us. Oh, good. You can only hear me. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, everyone. Let's see. Uh, where did I put that challenge thing? All right. So now, if I go dual admin, reload again. So let's now do Durnguard versus Golden Kelp. There we go. Um, now it works. So they should be in their respective spawns. Uh, and let's uh, check if everybody's ready. This will pass it down. I told everyone it's time to start. Hopefully, I'm not a liar now. Yeah, we should be good to go now. Uh, uh, are they all in their places? Yeah, they are. All right, we need them to say when they're ready. All I'll, right, I'll do that one. Yeah, do it in local, please. Alrighty. Waiting for one more ready. That's not it. <clears throat> Should be. Well, we're waiting on T-Sun and it's Chris. Chris can't Wait, change chat. Oh, hold on. So then it's AFK. <laughs> God damn. Well, if he's AFK for more than a minute, we're just gonna start anyway. Yep. Um. I I guess we'll start. Uh, we'll give give him like thirty seconds. Yeah, we'll give T Sun thirty seconds if he doesn't show uh, up by then. Sounds like he went to go eat dinner and is not coming back. In All right, seconds. go ahead and start it. <laughs> All right. I guess I guess we're starting. Do now? we want to? Do we want to just jump down to the next the next team? Yeah, let's do that. I can I can cancel right. this one. All right, cancel that one. All right, so one more time, let's do the Lion in the Sun and Animal. <laughs> one right. more time, they try to start this tournament. We're sorry it took us 30 <laughs> minutes, guys. So it's Sithodom and Blaze Slayer yep. and then versus Skipper, Skipper and Sprint. All righty, is everybody in their For locations? 
real so, dude. Um, Blaze Slayer in their positions. Sprix and Skipper are in their locations. Um. <clears throat> oh. All right, everyone's ready. Go for it. All righty. Attorney. Fight. Oh, look at those amazing graphics. It only took us 30 minutes to get it set up. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you should get in and actually watch the fight. All righty. So I'm uh I'm gonna follow these guys around. So this uh this arena is a uh a waste type arena. It's, uh, well, we're already getting some action here. Skipper taking some shots to the face. I'm surprised people aren't using the cover a little bit more. Yeah. <laughs> Just sitting out Looks in the like open. Uh, Blaze is already really low. Um, hey, it makes for good viewing, though. Everyone's out in the open. Yep. Arrows do a lot more damage than people expect when you're yep. wearing iron armor. Oh, here we go. Here we go, here we go. We're, we're getting straight into the fight. Skipper's favoring that axe. Yep. I mean, it's pretty effective in terms of Atlas PvP. Ooh. Oh! Oh! Oh, there we go! Oh, right. Animal Jam taking the first round. Alrighty. Uh, we'll give him like 30 seconds, you know, get back, mentally prepare themselves. Um, but yeah, axes are pretty, pretty powerful in terms of Atlas PvP. Um, especially because shields, um, and we don't have crits. Um, so yeah. I'll just go ahead and start the next one. Alrighty. No need to read too long. Then let's, uh, let's get started with round two, shall we? God, I love how it opens the gates, it's so cool. <laughs> it's not like I spent a bunch of time on that. Alright, so Sprix and Skipper it. are, uh... It's the hacking system ever, but it works. <laughs> <laughs> Literally uh, command blocks. <laughs> so it looks like both teams are opting to go onto the building, which is a little bit interesting. It's different. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't. I don't honestly don't think it's a good place to fight from. It's uh, it's, you don't it's, have much cover. You you don't. You don't you have much don't. room to move either. It's um. Oh, I got a rogue arrow fired out somewhere in Nara. Man. Watching the stream is like watching a PowerPoint. Is it really that slow? <laughs> it's just, yeah, it's a little bit PowerPointy. Hmm. I wonder why that is. I mean, it, it's one of the coolest PowerPoints I've seen in a while, but PowerPoint. All right, how's the teams doing here? Still, still sticking with the arrows. How many arrows did we give them? Are they gonna run out eventually? Um, yeah, they will run out eventually. There's about 32 okay, arrows, I think. Okay, they don't have too many left. Yeah. Um. These players are making much better use than I ever did of my heal pots, so. <laughs> yep, definitely. I mean, this is definitely a Mexican standoff. Um, as they say. Uh, Sith Dome taking some, uh, damage. Yeah, there is definitely a stream delay. But that's alright. Neither team really giving up much. Wow, Sprix took a lot of damage there. Just kinda sticking to it. Oh, looks like somebody's going for a sneak attack. Oh, not really. It's gonna end up in a standoff again. Yeah, but this right, they need to move this on. This is this is taking forever. This is. Oh, are they pushing? I don't know what's going on. This is like a tactical oh, operation. Oh, there we go. Though. There we there go. go. Looks like uh. Ooh, Blaze is close. Very close. Oh. Sprig's taking some damage. He's gonna retreat back into the water. Oof. They need to follow him down there. Where's, uh... Oh, there he is. There's Skipper. He's jumping around to... Get back with his teammate. Okay. 
heading on to the main island. They've healed up a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like uh, yeah, 40 Sith players. and Blaze Slayer really don't like leaving this rooftop right here. They're just fighting from here. I just realized that Ajax They're just it. sitting around. Yeah. Alrighty. Okay, let's see this. Oh, looks like Sprix is taking the fight to them again. I'm gonna start start dropping anvils on these people if they don't <laughs> fight. Oh. Sprix and Blaze Slayer are both slow. Oh, Blaze Slayer oh, spawned. He got no. stuck in a stall. Blood has been spilled. This Set match is about to end. And Animal Jam right, takes there it, goes. it. Wow. GG, GG. Should have been returned. Did they get their stuff returned? I hope so. Well, they'll probably let us know. Yeah. Um. So let's uh. I guess we can do. Roblem versus the Blamo Boys. Next. So it doesn't look like they got their stuff back because they still got the kits. Hmm. So luckily it is saved in a file. <laughs> I just we just need to restore them after. Um So this next fight, uh SEAL Team Roblem yep. is Burry and Totem and Blamo Bros is Long and Sharp. I think Long got switched out for somebody. Or Blue Infern? Looks like they're I think. Um Long falls offline. Um, Shardian. Uh, who's Shard sub? It's Blue Infern, isn't it? Blue yeah. Infern. All right, let me go change that real quick. Blue Infern. <laughs> Oh, cool. Players are hanging out in one of the rooms. All right. Yeah, everyone's sticking with the kit one. Uh, how do I restore them again? Isn't it like... Uh, should be like dual admin restore player name, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that sounds about right. I don't know if that works. <laughs> Does um, not work. It doesn't work? <laughs> yeah, no, doesn't oh seem to be working. Um, I will look into that in a second. Looks like Blue Infern is also offline currently. Is that? No, that spell it it, they're online. It's B L E U, not. -E -E. Oh, B L E U. Oh yeah. God, uh, that confused me. Hold on. French spelling. Alright, I think they're both ready to go. Well, I wouldn't do it yet. Make sure their inventories are clear, because it's very clear that people are losing their items well, so, now. No, no, no. It, the items are being saved to a file. Um, so the first round should be good. Hold on. Let me see why that's happening. Uh, I wonder what's going on there. Hold on. Give me 30 seconds. 30 seconds. That's all there will be. Stand by for delay. Sorry, everyone. Still figuring this out. This chair gonna work. Cool. I 
hope uh, I hope you and Tear are ready after after this next one. You guys are oh god, are we up next? Pull, pull, pull it together. Oh no! Unless uh, unless Team Team Durngar gets back. Oh, so, uh, Sun is back. So we'll do. We'll still do Seal Team Roblem and uh, Blamo Bros, and then we'll jump back up to them. We're definitely gonna want to start getting through these faster, though. Yep. Otherwise, we're gonna be here all day. All right, Blamo Bros are ready. First here at I don't know. Where is Terry? He's just stand by, our tournament runner has disappeared. Uh he's back. Okay. Wow. Um Let's do it. Can we start at this fight? All right. Yep. As long yep. as people are going to lose their stuff, I imagine that's going to be a hell of a time for us if that's the case. <sighs> well, so when I'm doing tournament, f uh, the dual dual admin restore, nothing's actually breaking. There's no like error that's popping up. So let me try this. Dual admin restore. Unless, hold on. going on here all right um so i'm not entirely sure what's happening here i'm just going to tell people to clear their inventories i can teleport them back or to their towns yeah that might be the best option Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what happened because restore Don't worry about it. Let's move on. Let's make sure that the Fornex people have clear inventories. Yeah. Um, Alright, so who's next? It's uh Shardian and Blue and guys? Burn versus nope, it's we're doing uh okay. Roblem and Okay. Totem and Are they already in Burry, Burry Totem. No, uh, to Burry's not in. Dutch Soldier and Totem are in. Dutch Soldier and Totem, okay. Yeah. Alright, everyone's in. Everyone's ready. Yep. Uh, I guess we can start this off. Alrighty, let's do it. Seal Team Roblin versus the Blamo Bros. Where do you guys come up with these names? Like, goddamn. <laughs> okay, looks like Seal Team Roblin is uh, opting to head to the um, now that's a waste of arrows, if you ask me. That is, 100%. Looks like the Blamo Bros have opted to kind of jump down and uh, work their way towards SEAL Team Roblem's uh, position, I guess. Hopefully this fight goes faster than the last one. Hopefully. Hopefully I like we don't the look end up with the, a uh, standoff. Uh, standoff. I like the look of the night fights, though. Oh, yeah. Especially with all these lanterns lit up. Oh, yeah, I didn't even think about that. Looks like the Blamo nice. Bros are coming in for a... Uh, oh, they're coming in for a flank, or at least they're trying to. 
Uh, looks like SEAL Team Robum's already using some pots. Remember, there's only five heal pots, so it's not a whole lot. I mean, range has got to be hard on this map. There's so much, so many obstacles. Yep. Block your arrows. Oh, it looks like uh, Blamo Bro's taking some damage. Oh, look at that. Shardian coming in with a heal on his ally. Both Ooh, of them healing each other. Low. Totem being knocked off. This fight over the stairs They're going on right away. now. Yeah, this stairway seems to be where everyone wants to fight. Yep. Ooh, Very that's some, that's some spam clicking. <laughs> oh, oh, he's off the roof. Oh, Shardian chasing him down. Dutch soldiers. Low, oh, it's a close oh, one. No. Oh no! Oh! And it ends in literally seconds. Wow. That was a good one. All right. Give them a sec to breathe and put them back in the ring. Alrighty. Um, if everybody's ready, I guess we'll start off the next fight. Do it. Round two. Roboom again heading, opting to go to the roof to get some arrows out. Looks like uh, Blamo Bros are going to take a different approach. They're going to go the long way. Interesting. <laughs> I'm to name it the stairway to heaven. <laughs> Sounds about right for this. Alright, interesting. Now, the thing is, they are quite a bit out in the open if they were to go this way. Dutch soldiers still firing off arrows. Oh. oh, some hits here and there. Oh, Quite I like the misses. use of the the use of the, the caravan or yep, the wagon. Oh, Shardian taking some hits as he moves into the uh, open area. Using that shield to get in close. Yep. Probably a good idea. Close the distance. But looks he's like going, going alone. To... It looks like that's. Oh wait, no, there's blue. Both of them hiding ooh, behind ooh, the crate. Ooh. Oh, Seal Team oh, Robo oh, moving in for pushing. the kill. <clears throat> Shardian's on the bad. back foot. He's running. Oh, Blue Infern catching Dutch Soldier by surprise. Ooh, that was that was some damage. That was oh, definitely now, some yeah, damage. He's getting teamed up now on. he's outnumbered, yeah. Oh, ooh, Shardian coming well. back in to help out oh. his teammate. Oh, he's low. Cactus. He's definitely low. They're fighting one at a time. I don't think it's going to work for him. Oh, God. And Shardian is left all alone. Running for his life. <laughs> Quite <laughs> the other literally. side of town. Yeah, no, I mean, we do give them cooked beef, so that re that saturation really really does help in regening. <clears throat> but it, it is a 2v1 here. Um, and they unless just need he's, to go in and take that kill. Unless he's able to really pick one off, really do some damage. Uh, Oh, oh, doing some damage, but he's on the back foot again, really low again, using those heal pots to stay in it, and... Oh. Oof. GG's. GG's. Alrighty, hopefully we can get the next match going faster this time. Yep, so we'll jump back up. We can do Team Durnguard and Golden Kelp. Alright. Uh, now that uh, Sun is back. Durnguard versus Golden Kelp. So, Durnguard is it's Chris and Sun, and Golden Kelp is Dara and Kaipin. Alrighty, guys. Um, <clears throat> let's start off this fight, shall we? Alright, let's do it. Alrighty. Let's get those gates open. Adara and Kai.
type in both taking off directly to the center, not opting to go on top. Whereas Durngard opting to go up onto the top. Gonna fire off some arrows. Oh, Adara using that vertical play, getting on top of that building. I might see, see some interesting plays here. Oh, interesting, yeah. Kaipen sticking down. Oh, Badara falls. Now that, that, that post didn't last long. <laughs> Looks like they're going to try and close the distance. They're uh, slowly walking up with their shields drawn. Both teams still at full health. Uh, Sun not e hasn't even taken damage. We need to take away these people's arrows. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fight enough. Um, can you TP me over? Oh yeah, Kaipen needs to unsneak. Uh, you could actually. Uh, you could pseudo sneak him. He's no longer sneaking. Perfect. Oh, taking, going into the middle circle. This is, this is an interesting, but bold oh. move. Um, it really is a death pit to go into there. But it's Chris and Tison not giving up their position on top of this roof. Man, this building is uh, today's MVP. Yeah, seriously. Dara taking some damage there. He's gonna and for some that. reason, it's that building every time and not this exact equal and opposite building <laughs> over here. I don't... Yeah, it seems like the team that's on the far side always decides to take the fight to the mm -hmm. closer side. We'll see what happens here, though. Don't mind me, I'm uh, helping players clear their inventory for the fight, so ah, okay. I won't have much to say. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Adara and Kaipen are going to circle around. Tisan and Chris finally kind of moving. Oh, Chris is now in the market square. Hanging out by the stairs, not, not, not straying too far from it. Oh, Adara's moving in, Kaipen following close behind both Chris and Tison still on the roof oh and there's some friendly fire there Tison hits Chris in the back of the head Chris on top of the market square circles around Adara and Kaipen oh but Adara catches him and Adara's now on the run <coughs> And T Sun and Chris are both behind him. T Sun and Adara taking damage. He's pretty much back up to full health. Definitely doing some damage. Oh, we might see something going on here. Looks like there's some friendly fire from T Sun. Getting in those heal pots. Kaipen surrounded. Oh no. He's low. He's really low. Oh, there goes Kaipen. And Adara. Oh, Adara's on the run. But he did get T on really, really low right there for a second. Adara's really on the back foot now. There it is. Team Durngar. Winning that first round. Alrighty, we'll give them a second have, to breathe. Might have added a letter in Durngar. I did? Oh, that's alright. I think it's G-A-R-D. <laughs> Whatever. Oof. <laughs> Sorry, Team Durngar. Did we ever decide on what people are going to win for this tournament, or are we going to have to delay that one a little bit? We are <laughs> definitely going to have to delay that one a little bit, because uh, <laughs> T is... Um, Currently still, I think he's still doing finals, right? 
Yeah, I think he's still in the finals, so we, we don't have an artifact yet. Yeah, uh, our sure. resident prize crafter. Yep. Is, uh, well, we, yeah. We will hand out prizes for stuff, but we will not have them right after this tournament. Yeah. Uh, we ready to start the next one? Yeah, do it. Alrighty. Let's keep them going pretty fast. We're already an hour into the tournament. <laughs> We've wow. done like three yeah, rounds. We'll, we'll fire through these. Alrighty. So everyone gets a few rounds to play, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, everyone has a lot of rounds. Holy crap. Do we want to shorten that a little bit? Make that I think we might want to, yeah. Hmm? I think, yeah, let's go ahead and do three rounds or something. Uh, can we even do that? Wow, Kaiba's yeah, yeah, taking yeah. a lot of arrow damage, already down to half health. It's Chris and T Sun. Spending a lot of time. Uh, the first three rounds. We, yeah, we can just do the first three rounds because everyone gets three matches still. Yep. So, yeah, that's fine. And I'll just do ties for the rest. Yep. Okay, so Kaipen so was able to get in. Round. Uh, Kaipen was able to get in that healing with those uh, cooked steak. A lot of saturation there. Um, looks like T-Sun and Chris are still on top of the building. Adara's, again, trying for that vertical gameplay. I'm going to start lighting people on fire here in a sec. They're not even fighting. Oh, they're trying to do something tricky. I don't think this is going to work. I think I know what Adar is going to do. Oh, he's, he's making his way towards them, waiting for Kaipen, making sure he's not too far behind him. Chris and Tison still firing arrows away. It's true. Oh, Adara taking an arrow straight to the face. Does a little bit of damage. <laughs> I mean, it is a lot of saturation there, Shardine. That one cooked steak does a lot. Especially if you get some time. Looks like Adara's going for the high ground. He's got the high ground now. Oh, and he loses the high ground already. They're on the stairs. They might. Are they going to chase them up onto the building? Or are Tisan and Chris going to fall down and take the fight to Dara and Kaipu? <sighs> oh. Adara and Kaipu slowly making okay, their advance. Finally. Oh. I'm sitting here pulling out my fireball wand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here like we go. This Kaipen's is, this a, is a scuffle. Low. Kaipen's low. T Sun's low. Everybody's low. Wow. A lot of damage being done. Oh. Ooh, this is close. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, Kaipen is down. And Adara is running. <laughs> yeah, and there he goes. Yep, they're on top of Into the water. Into the water. That's never a fun place to be. Yep, they're not going to give him a second. They're just going to chase him down. Smart, smart. Oh, Dar's in trouble. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Durngard takes the round. Takes the round. Alrighty, on to the second round here. <laughs> we I have so far, uh, every team who's won has had a flawless victory. <laughs> Uh, no who is one. admin bias? Oh, that's you and Ajax, my friend. What? Yeah, Get we're it. fighting in the group B. Get it. Oh god, hold on. I we might want to make it you and me so that Tyr can do this, even though we're not going to be any good. Oh god, you might as well fight by yourself. <laughs> I don't think we have a choice. <laughs> hold on, wait. Do we have enough teams for that? What do you mean? Yeah, yeah. You're, you, guys are the 12, you guys are the 12th team. Huh. Yeah. Alright, let's keep going. Alrighty. Uh, are we All going... Right. Animal group... Jam versus Seal Team Roblin. Oh, okay. Oh, We're going to do Group A first, and then go to well, let's, Group let's, B. Let's, oh. jump, let's, let's jump down to Group B. We'll do round We'll do right. round one of Group B so that everyone I'll gets put one. I.O. and I in, so that uh, you can okay. still... I 
should probably get out of God mode. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to let the, the fight clear my inventory. Oh, yeah. That's okay. good. Good. Wait, I got to go back to my town. <laughs> Wish. All right, Tyr, put us in there. So admin bias is Ajax and Io. Yep. Alrighty. So let's prep uh, the Harlem Spartans. And yep. oh wait, can we make sure that the Harlem Spartans are inventories are clear? Who are they? Um, who do we have? I don't know. It is uh, Zal Museb Pat W R. And lost, lost property. property. Oh, lost property said he has a sub now. Someone. Yeah, that's that's the person that he put in. Oh, Holy gotcha. Holy crap, that's a name. Oh wait, that person is not online anymore. Um. Yeah, lost. Sub who's your uh, who's your sub? Oh, rage. Is it rage within? Rage within. It... Yeah. Did he message that to you? Rage. Okay. Yeah. Let me go change that real quick. Rage within underscore. Oof, what is that? What is that noise? What noise? It's like a weird oh God, I need more monitors. thing. <laughs> yeah. All right, Rage is in the team now. Let's make sure that their uh, um, their inventories are appropriately saved. We should actually be able to do save player lost property, and then save player Rage within, and I should be able to restore their inventories with that. Um, so let's do that. Tourney. We'll put I and I in. Prep. Admins versus. Uh, what was it? Harlem Spartans. Harlem Spartans. Alrighty, so Io and Ajax are in their cage. Good luck, Io. <laughs> oh god, yeah, you too. Oh god. Rage Within and Lost Property are in their cage. Let's start this fight, shall we? Man, we're at 54 players. That's our TPS. Look Admin like. Bias versus the Harlem Spartans. 44. That's still good. Pretty good. I tried to check the TPS and the damn plugin won't let me. <laughs> you have other things to do right now. <laughs> Alrighty, so no, lost I must check the and rage. Hey, look at that. We, end, we ended up on this building too. <laughs> Getting onto that building. Oh, looks like Ow. Ajax is gonna go. Busy falling off things. Oh god, this is not looks good. Looks like lost and rage trying to use that vertical space there. Um, lost fallen, taking some damage. Um, rage oh, and lost boy. have split up just like the admins have. Oh, no, the admins have grouped up or together. Have we? Looks like they're going to circle around each other. Oh, no, they have seen each other. And... Oh, some, some friendly oh, fire. Ajax is getting definitely... Oh, oh my god, no. I killed him. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, yeah. There it is. Wow. So, hey, I outlived you, though. <laughs> That's, some, uh, that's a that's a personal that's accomplishment. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, I guess um, we're good to go. To yeah, yeah, end one. this, end this quickly. Alrighty, let's go to the next one, shall we? My brain is still not functioning, so <laughs> I can't aim straight, barely see straight. Oh, I hit someone. Looks like Lost and Rage not wasting any time on that building. They're gonna I mean, they know once they get over here, it's basically over. It's basically over. You guys might be actually able to hold on to this position for a little bit. Some uh, yeah, classic Harpoolian bow spam coming tier. from Ajax. <laughs> <laughs> Is that really what's going to happen here? Well, we'll see. Rage and Lost still not deciding to actually 
Oh boy. Go anywhere. They're still sticking by the tree. Uh, I think Rage might be lagging a little. Get him while he's DCing. <laughs> <laughs> Our only hope. Oh wait, is he actually? I'm not sure. I think. Or is it just lagging right? Oh, they're having a thunderstorm. Oh no! Nothing we can do no. about that. Alright. Sorry. Looks like Lost is all alone. We're gonna get blamed for that. <laughs> oh yeah, we are. Of course we are. Lost I can't really get away from this not that, not that I'll even be able to win this fight. And Please, Io, oh, win no. this fight. <laughs> Lost and Io going at it. Are you oh, kidding me? I can't one v one. GG admins. GG. Yeah, Tia, you're in next. What? <laughs> next admin bias round. Wait, we're not we're not up again, are we? Oh god. We got two more fights in the future, but not right now. <laughs> but for now. Alrighty. Go ahead and get Harlem Spartans as two points. Alright, so Oh, Next up is God. the Golden Roses of Nordkaut versus Venovia Xterra, which is Silent Storm <laughs> like the um, and somebody on Venovia Xterra, and Epic and Zephon on Golden Roses of Nord Nordkaut. Um, are their inventories clear? Uh, who are we looking at? Um, For the record, Epic and Zephon. And then my inventory. Yeah, my inventory was restored properly. What? Yeah. Did it just randomly start working? Let's be safe, but let's hope that it just works. I I, I don't even know anymore. <sighs> All right. Um. That's a that's a lot of arrows you got there. Backy. All righty. Um. We good to start the next one? Are they? Yep. You got Your the inventory is clear. Alrighty. Venovia and Golden Roses. Oh, it looks like Oof. Ricard Rentana, Renata from uh, Silent Storm's team is offline. Silent Storm, his replacement is DJ Scales. Okay, let me go change that real quick. Um, DJ Scales. Is DJ Scales off online? Yes. DJ Scales 101. I'll be right back and change that. <laughs> Man, I hope players don't clip that disgusting <laughs> defeat. <laughs> there's a reason that I don't PvP in Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, there's a reason we build servers. Yeah, it's because we're so bad at normal Minecraft, we can't do basically, anything else. Basically. Alrighty. I'm alright with that. Man, Those teams should be prepped. Silent DJ. You guys are good. Let's, uh. Throw them in there. Epic and We might Zephon have to cut it at two rounds, honestly. <laughs> uh, Epic and Zephon. Uh, yeah. There we go. Zephon is no longer sneaking. Let's make sure that nobody on this side is sneaking. Yeah, everybody's good. Alright, let's start this. Do it. Oh, wow. Back that's to that's such a large name that doesn't even fit on my screen. Well, the funny part was one of the characters in order to call it was, was like a question mark. Ah, uh, yeah, probably because it's a Unicode. <laughs> it's character. like, um, no, I don't know what that character is. <laughs> Need that sweet, sweet text wrapping. Looks like both teams are opting to go to the uh, to the rooftops over here. Both teams are missing. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Epic's gotten some high ground here. Let's see if he can actually utilize it. <laughs> no kidding. How did you get up there? You can uh, you can walk from here. Oh, okay. You're walking on things. I don't feel like this is a great position, though. All you're doing is sitting there. Really not. Looks like DJ and Silent are both... Kind of stuck on the bridge. 
Middle Island. Um, hmm. Might have the epics making some moves here, moving moving down a little bit. Looks like he's kind of stuck. Okay, we might have to teleport some people places to make sure what? this fight kind of moves. Well, yep. Epic taking some damage. Get uh, somebody gets some shots uh, on him. What can I launch at players? That'll be oh snowballs. I'm just gonna throw snowballs at them. Epic again taking some damage, dodging those arrows. It's like uh, Silent and Rage have kind of, or Silent and DJ have kind of backed off a little bit. They're uh, reevaluating their route. All right, we got some movement. We do, we do. Knockback ten stick. That's that's some fun stuff. Zephon still holding this position on top of here. And Epic still trying to figure out how he's going to get back up on, on there to help Zephon. Um, oh, it seems that Epic might have fallen a little bit. We might see some movement here because of uh, because Epic kind of made a mistake there. He's going to have to have to move. Silent literally right there. Oh. Let's see if Silence and uh, DJ can make some moves here. And uh, oh, oh no, he cl he fell into the chair trap. Oh god. Yeah, so you do have to be careful because of these uh, crafting tables and these chairs in the middle. You cannot be right clicking willy nilly. You will get stuck in an inventory or stuck sitting. Yeah, it really, it really <laughs> throws your rhythm. Off. It definitely throws your rhythm off. All right, I'm launching fireballs at Google. Looks like uh, Silent and DJ are now going to circle back down, try and get towards the fawn and Epic. Oh god, Ajax, those there. those make my frames go to two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, looks like there's some damage right here, some close combat, closer combat at least. I need to find something more destructive that's less accurate. <laughs> I might just start lighting fires on people. That's kind of fun. <laughs> or I can just start spawning Ender Dragons. I think that'll work. Epic we'll and Zephon now on the run. Uh, Silent has been separated from DJ. DJ's opting to take the longer way. Oh, Epic Ooh. and Silent battling it out a little bit. Finally, Epic's getting finally some action. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh. There was one. Huh? That oh. was a murder. That was a definite murder. That was, um, <laughs> was that a an arena kill? I don't think so. I'm not entirely sure what happened there. <laughs> I sat <That's> down. <laughs> well, that was yeah, an arena, arena, arena kill. kill. Okay. So uh, it's borked. Well, so they won that round. Yeah. So... Epic didn't drop anything. Looks like. Let me do this, uh, and then and then okay. There we go. All right. So the. Uh, Reset up, and they got one win? Yes. Alright. Then let them back in. There we go. 
Perfect. Oh. That was a little interesting. I wonder why uh, Epic got deregistered as a tournament fighter. Hmm. Would it have something to do with me shooting fireballs at people? Maybe. He might have accidentally... I'm not entirely sure, actually. He should have been teleported back then. Oh, somebody dropped a piece of wood. Huh. God damn it, Adara. <laughs> <laughs> He's just chilling in his balloon. So, Epic and Zephon, again, have opted to take on top of the balcony area. Silent and DJ making their way slowly with their shields drawn out. I'll be back in a sec. Oh, it's the other building this time. Yeah. I'm, wow. I've actually not seen it happen here. Alrighty. So... Silent and DJ kind of backing away a little bit. Making some space. I think they might be opting to go onto the middle island and then circle around. Oh, Epic and Zephon opting to move down into the market area. Getting some cover, maybe regening a little bit. Taking some damage there. Oh, another shot directly to the face. Those shots do hurt. Silent and DJ. <coughs> oh, circling going around. Up the, Looks going like up uh, Epic the, uh, and uh, Zephon have opted to jump off and run. Epic's on top of the tree. He might catch some people by surprise a little bit. Oh, the drop down. Right onto Silent. Unfortunately, he didn't get a hit off. Just took some damage. Oh, it startled the shit out of him, though. Yep. Very much so scared him. Some bow spamming action. Oh, there we go. Zephon, Silent, and Epic going at it. Oh, there it is. The close quarters. Oh, Epic Not much is room low, on that. Zephon coming in with that heal pot for both of them. DJ and Silent took some damage, but not too much. They were able to heal up with that cooked beef saturation. Zephon going in for that close quarters. He was able to get in a hit, but he's low. Oh no! And Epic's all alone. Oh god. Oh, had he known his health. Got that pot down. Yep, he was able to get some more health in there. Huh. Again, huh. Epic got Epic the register. specifically. Yeah. Huh. I, I don't... Uh, I know why, why it's happening. I know 100% why it's happening. So. Uh oh. Just uh, do that. There it is. Let me go fix that epic problem, and I'll be back in a second. All right, I'll go ahead and update the bracket here. Congratulations, Venovia Exter. On a victory, and also two murders. So somebody didn't appropriately put their name in. Oh, I see. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, all right. Let's move on. Yeah. Uh, we've got the, the Orionite Inquisition versus the Crimean Horde. Oh God, these are some uh, good fighters. Yeah, that's so, gonna be a good one. So right. we've got uh, you need. Orionites are Ali and Orla. Crimeans are Rayward and Tiger. 
Yep. Are they all online? Yes, they are. All right. I guess we're ready to go. If, oh yeah, Ali's uh, turning oh, his trail Ali's off. turning off his trails. Oh. Um, yeah, someone beat here. the tutorial. Let me do that. Ali, go ahead and uh, turn off your trails. I think he's good now. Okay. There we go. All right. If we're ready to go, uh, let's start this fight, shall we? Ollie and Orland opting to go up onto here. Oh, looks like they're going to be using. Oh, wow. There's some real strategy going on here. Rayward and Tigerbird taking. Taking onto the rooftop, if we see as we've seen many players do, but Ollie and Orland taking the high ground. I gotta say that high ground route is pretty ballsy because you're uh, ballsy. you're kind of an open target as you're climbing your way up that half yep. a block thin uh, little fence trip, but they pulled 100%. it off. Yeah, really did. Uh, looks like they're uh, both kind of keeping their distance, kind of sizing their. Opponents up. Looks like uh, Rayward and Tiger have kind of moved to the island. Ollie and Orlanth have as well. Sticking, really sticking together. These are some, uh, these are some really good PVPers who here and who work well in teams. Yeah. So they do know what they're doing. Looks like Ollie's getting the. Oh God, Tiger's taking some damage. Oh, Rayward's wow. taking some damage as well. Both of them are low. Using those pots. Okay, I'm back. Where are we at? We got, oh, Rayward is, Rayward is down. Tiger. Oh, and there it is. That's oh, uh, that's a murder too. That was an actual murder. Yeah, let me go fix that. <laughs> well, regardless, that was the Orionite Inquisition. Won that one. Cool, cool. Oh no. I guess I don't have to fight again for a while. Yeah, we've got a minute. Maybe we'll knock it down to two uh, two rounds here, since each round. Or sorry, two. Uh, yeah, Agreed, two rounds. Yeah. yeah. That way we can end more gets, around two. And every team gets two fights. Yep. Okay, so now if I go, tourney prep, uh, Inquisition, horde. Yeah. I should be back in their positions. And then let's go they ahead. They already fought twice, right? No, they fought once. Okay. Uh, uh yeah, there we go. Okay, Orion Inquisition now has one point. They did get the win on that one. Um, so Tiger let's... is not in here. Sorry, I t I TP'd him. I didn't realize you. Uh, yeah, got him all right. I I canceled it and then I. Oh yeah, you got to put him back in. Yeah. Hold on, I can put him back. Bye, there we go. Should Stand by for admin incompetence. <laughs> Alrighty, um, we should be good for the next round, right? So uh, let's do it. All right. I did fi figure out why those are uh, true kills instead of uh, tourney kills. It's because uh, the name has to be inputted with a uh, case specific. So, Tiger Bird was a B with a <laughs> lowercase. Wow, look at that. Ollie and Orlanth are already right there. Tiger <laughs> and Rayward both on top of the building. Orlanth yeah, they opting are to go to directly right. in. Take the fight. All the stairs, oh, the stairway wow. to heaven. Ollie taking some major damage. <laughs> Is that what we're going to call it? <laughs> Is that really what we're going to call it? <laughs> Hey, that was a good suggestion. Oh wow, yeah, this is a, this is a skull. right out the gate. Tiger oh. bird down. Thank you to the fighters for not taking forever. Raywards and there, there it is. GG's to both teams. So, Orion Inquisition takes that 2-0.
Wow, everybody has been winning their rounds 2 0. Yep. So we're gonna go two rounds, or are we gonna go three rounds? Well, let's go we're two rounds. Two yeah, right. so we'll go. So we're back up to the top here, back in Group A, round two. We've got Animal Jam up against Seal Team Rob. So we got Skipper and Spricks. Yep. And uh, Dutch Soldier and Totem. Yep. Oh, this is good. We only uh, we only need to get embarrassed one more time. <laughs> Alrighty. Shall we go then? Let's do it. Let's All do right. It. So next team is gonna be Animal Jam versus Seal Team Problem. Yep. There we go. We got that fancy graphic. <laughs> Amazing. Wow! Fire already started. Cool. Yep. Looks like uh, Animal Jam is going to opt to head to the roof again, and Roblem's also going to head to the roof. They're uh, both firing. They're going to shoot arrows. arrows at each other for a few years. Yep. <laughs> next next tournament, we need to give people like four arrows. Yep. <laughs> I definitely think that the uh, arrow count can be reduced. <laughs> so either that, or we need to not have platforms that encourage people to shoot arrows for the entire match. That's true. I like these palm trees. Whoever made these, I like. I like the design. They're good, right? Like with the with the heads, like the coconut heads and yeah, stuff. Yeah, little. Like. Those are pretty cool. I'm wow. gonna have to steal this design. Well, I mean, they're on the build server, <laughs> so we can 100% take them. I thought, I thought they were shooting at the crowd for a second there. <laughs> Looks like Sprix and Skipper have actually made their way down. Now they're chasing after SEAL Team Problem here. Whoa, not getting fighting off, on the stairway to heaven. What's going getting on Getting off a lot of arrows and doing a lot of damage. This is a ground Ooh, Dutch soldier Ooh, taking a go. lot of damage. Very low right there. Oh, he's Ooh. stuck in a stall. He's in the market. Oh. Totem on the back foot. Desperately trying to get some heals off. Oh, he's running, running. for his life. Need help. They're right by. Yeah, uh, that was. Uh... Uh... Wow. Alright, I'll be right back. Alrighty. Shall we uh, get started with the next next round? Let's do it. Attorney. Fight. Round two. Animal Jam versus Steel Team Robum. Let's see if uh, Steel Team Robum can come back and uh, change things up a little bit. See if they'll take us to round three. Looks like it's just a standoff. Very much so. Both are just kind of standing there. Sprick's taking a shot. Dutch soldier taking a few shots. Looks like Skipper and Sprix are still not gonna move. They're really just gonna kinda stick around. Oh, looks like Dutch soldier has fallen off the uh over here. He's making his way back up here. Let's see if any movement oh looks like Animal Jam is moving to the center island, but they're going to kind of split up Sprix and uh, Skipper. Right, Skipper's now stuck in the chairs, as well as Sprix. Oh, God. Oh, I'm back. What's going on? Sprix stuck in the somebody chair. Somebody is sitting oh, in a chair. Yes, yeah, somebody is definitely sitting in a chair. He is quite literally a sitting duck. Um, <laughs> finally decides oh, to get out of the chair. That was a, that was a power move. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, Skipper taking a lot of damage there from one arrow. Sprix moving up by himself. No support. Wow, nailing both Totem and Dutch. Dutch getting really low from that shot. Yeah, 
Like, arrows do a lot of damage. Alrighty. Man, I am surprised that there are 21 people watching the slideshow. <laughs> Still moving slow. That bad? Is it? Yeah, it should be fine. All right, the stairway fight's coming. Here it is. Dutch soldier oh, hands falling very quickly. Oh god! Totem running again, getting in those heels. Skipper and Spricks on his tail. Wow. Oh man! Just gotta keep running. But it wasn't enough. Good job to both teams. So Animal Jam takes that one. 2-0. Yeah, all these 2-0. I want to see a 2-1 in here. I do. Alright. Next up is uh, Blamo Bros versus Derngard. Mm-hmm. Alright, somebody sc warn Skipper for it. Yeah. None of that GG easy stuff, alright? GG is fine, just not easy. So, Blamo versus Derngard. It's Chris is offline from Derngard. Uh oh. Yeah, he just logged off. Maybe he'll log back in here quick. We can switch to one of the other matches. Yeah, yeah. if not. Alright. Well, uh, let's jump down in the sake of keeping this moving to uh, Golden Kelp versus Lion. So Dara and Kaipen versus Looks Sith like the and entire Blaze. team of Lion and Sun are <laughs> offline. All right, down the list we go. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, I hope you got a breather or in that acquisition because you're up again. Uh, Orionites vs. Venovia, Xterra. Okay. Can't get in game. Hmm? Guitar Strings is saying he can't get in game in the Twitch chat. Thought. Huh. Man, wouldn't this be a great time for the authentication servers to go down? Oh, boy. <clears throat> oh, God. Alrighty, so it looks like Inquisition and Venovia are both in their positions. You guys are ready. All right. Let's, uh, well, start this I'm off, ready to watch we? it go. Let's start this off. All right. Silence and DJ quickly moving through the market. Looks like they're gonna go towards the island. Orlanth and Ollie also making their way to the island. They're both seem to be Probably gravitating to the teams same for side. not going out of the balconies. Yep. Definitely a first. Um, oh, Ollie's coming in, getting getting on silence, taking some damage, and then backing away. Orlanth getting in, both getting axe hits in. Wow, those are actually. They're like running strategies or something over here. Yep. Looks like Ollie Is that how you're supposed to find these damage. things? I oh, we should take notes. <laughs> Strat G. <laughs> it's a big word. Maybe, maybe we can go figure it out. Silent oh, taking some slow. major damage there. Oh wow! Oh, Silent's getting, getting really low. Oh, DJ oh, oh, on the back foot oh. falling. Oh, Ellie's on the run low, though. But so is Silence. Oh god! Oh, and you didn't know how go. low Orlanth. Silent was. Orland coming in and cleaning up. Wow. We're not Inquisition taking that first round. Uh, let's give them a second to breathe. And I guess we can go in for uh, round two, right? Yep. Alrighty. Keep it going. And they're out of the gates. Both Ollie and Orlanth really sticking together. It looks like there is definitely a lot of strategy going on here on both sides. Um, Ollie getting in there, getting some initial hits on both Silent and DJ. 
Wow. Now these are the speed the fights are supposed to go in. Oop, they're split up. DJ DJ's falling down. very quickly. Ollie coming in to help Orlanth. And there oh, we go. Oh, so close. Those axe, axes, my god. Do some damage. They do a lot of damage. Especially in our iron armor. Alrighty, um, is It's Chris back here? Is he not? Um, how about Lion and Sun? Are they back? Blaze? Um. Oh no. Is it gonna be I on I because nobody's back yet? Uh, what? Well, well, I don't even know. I don't know if, uh, Lion and Sun are going to be coming back. They might have thought that it was like a single round elimination. Um, which means, do they forfeit? <laughs> Uh, if yes. we get if we get back and they're the last ones and they're still not here, then yes. Alrighty, um, so let's go on to the Crimean Horde versus Admin Bias. Oh boy, Terry, you want to step in here for me? Uh, actually, actually, give Ajax a shot. No, no, <laughs> uh, we, we need to take a we need to take the beating. We need to take it to our graves. Okay, <laughs> our early early graves. All right, let's do this. All right. <laughs> the Crimean now, Horde. This was a building tournament. Alrighty, oh, problem. Admins are and Might admins are. Ajax, could you hit shift for me, real quick? Ah, there we go. Your uh, skin was invisible for a second there. All Wait, right. shift fixes that? Yes. Cool. All right, let's do that. Let's do this. Who are we fighting? Um, Tiger Crimean Bird and Raven. Oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> no. <laughs> These two are a uh, organized pair. Let's get this. Uh, let's get this fight started, shall we? Let's get this over with. Oh god. Let it end. I really do like the gate animation though from uh, first person. <laughs> Rayward and Tiger yeah. opting to go onto the roof along with the admins. One of the admins, the other admin has uh, opted to stay by the lake. Um, Rayward going into the lake, opting to directly fight. Oh, both of them deciding to go. In and directly fight Ajax, pick off Ajax. I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna go hang out with Io on the roof here. That seems <laughs> far safer. Rayward circling back, it looks like. Tiger close behind him. There we go, Io coming in with those axe hits, getting a few hits on Rayward and Tigerbird. Ajax coming in out with that sword. Oh, oh no! no! I was gonna get down there! Damn it! <laughs> I'm really on the back foot now. Wow. Oh, man. <laughs> they, 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 like, use their shields, like... <laughs> That's how you're supposed to use shields. This game is hard. <laughs> Please end quickly. Alrighty, let's get on to this next fight. No, I think maybe this will be our round. Really? Can, you think I so? Can, <laughs> I can... I can feel... Hey boys, how's the view from up here? Well, the view from down here is terrifying. <laughs> view up in the balloon. Yeah, the balloon. The balloon view is actually very good. Uh, for those of you that don't know, getting into these towers is possible, and you get a pretty nice view from here. Um. So yeah, looks like a. Wait, are you up Tiger here or down there? No, I was. Where Where did you go? Our, I'm up here. Uh, oh, Ajax up taking a few shots directly to the face. Looks like Rayward and Tiger are opting to go to the stairway of heaven. Rayward's there <laughs> with his axe ready to go. Oh, Ajax getting Rayward low. Very, very low. Rayward oh, almost oh, on the back God. foot. Oh. Oh. Tiger Bird getting <laughs> Io from the back. And, and there it is. Yes, uh, Crimean Thank Horde God. takes that round. No more punishment. <laughs> and I got my inventory back, so that's good. Alright, okay, so looks like inventories are now working? I, uh, I don't even know. Alrighty. So I guess the next one is Harlem Spartans versus the Golden Roses of Nordkalt. So let's get that fight started. For once, admin abuse means beating the shit out of the admins. <laughs> uh, golden roses. Alrighty. 
Looks like uh, Rage Within lost property are in their proper positions. Epic and Zephon are in their proper position. Let's get this tourney fight started, shall we? Oh, the golden roses of Nord question mark. <laughs> Looks like Rage Within has opted to kind of fall down. Looks like they're going to directly take the fight with Epic, but Zephon is oh, on man. the other He's side of the himself. island. Looks like Epic's going to... Oh, wow. is already very low. Lost going after Zephon, breaking off from Rage. It's not looking good for Epic. Epic has fallen, and Zephon falls too. Harlem Spartans take it. And they opt to kind of fight themselves there for a second. Alrighty. I guess we'll get on to the next fight, shall we? And... Let's get this started. Alright, and then after this match, if the other teams are not here, we're going to default those and move straight on to the semifinals. So, yep. stick around, we're about to have the top fights, it seems. Okay. Epic and Zephon again. Going with this interesting strategy, Epic opting to run away, but <laughs> I would <laughs> so straight the teammates on the halfway across oh, the map. Oh wow! A lot of damage been having happening here. Zephon and Epic are both close. low. Epic falls. Oh, oh it's and not Zephon's looking good. Zephon's on the back foot now. Oh. GG Harlem Spartans. Alrighty, so go ahead and try and get those last two matches up. Let us know who's not here. And if they don't work, they don't work, and we move on to semis. Yep. Uh, we got um, Blamo Bros and Durnguard. Or the it's Chris is still not online from Durnguard. They, uh, who was that? Uh, so, uh, Sun, Sun was their substitute before. Maybe it can be yeah. Ved, and, Ved and Sun. Okay, I can switch that up real quick. If they're, if they're alright with it. Um, and against yeah, um, uh, shard. Let, yeah, let's try. Um, hold on. Uh, kelp versus lion and sun. Okay, so both players from lion and sun are still not online. If um, I'm gonna switch, it's Chris for Ved. Okay. Does he know that? You should probably message him. Uh, they they just said in chat. That, uh, okay, cool. Yeah. Alrighty. Um. Okay, Shardy and Blue Infern are good on Blamo side. Looks like T-Sun and Ved are good. Question yep, mark? they're both moving. Alrighty. <laughs> That's what we want. We Start want moving. Start this fight then. Alrighty, let's see how this goes. Alright, Sun and Ved opting to go to the... Uh, Roof again, firing off some arrows. Looks like Blue Infern and Shardian are gonna make their way slowly closer. Blue's kind of running out in front of Shardian. Not really sticking together, but close enough. Um, a lot of arrows being fired off. Looks like we're in another bow spam session. It's true, we are. Um, Blue and Shardian opting to kind of be in, in the marketplace. Really, not, uh, not the best place to be. Not much to move around. Really Hopefully they the find a better place to fight. Yeah, taking a lot of shots. Um, Ved and Sun getting a lot of shots off. Ved's of almost half dead there. That was close for him. Yep. Looks like Blue and... Blue's trying to get... Get some shots off here. Uh, 
That's a name. Yeah, still a lot of bow spam going on. Still a lot of arrows being fired here. Hopefully they'll run out here soon. Yeah. Problem is they're just picking up each other's arrows. That's true. <laughs> Blue getting more, some more shots off. It looks like Shardian and Blue are slowly working their way towards the stairway of heaven. Stairway to heaven. Um, stairway of heaven. <laughs> and uh, looks like we're going to get some close quarters <laughs> combat here soon. About time. Closing in on the stairs. Oh, both T-Sun and Blue taking some damage there. from the. There we go, Shardian taking an arrow to the face, but still at full health. Vet kind of hanging out back here. Oh, Malou is down. Man, this fight's taking forever. Come on, guys, you can do it. Oh, sorry about that, guys. I had to step away for a second. Oh, oh here we go. There we go. This is what we want to see. Oh, there we and go. And darn god. Wow. Yeah, I think maybe next tourney is uh, melee only. That could be. <laughs> you might want to do that. Yeah, it I would can be, switch up the kids be fun. A bit. All right. We could go a lot faster. That's for sure. Maybe maybe semifinals should be <laughs> melee <laughs> only. <laughs> no, we shouldn't switch it up. Mid tourney. Got those gates opening up. Ved already on the stairway to heaven. Sun taking his position there. But they're going all the way to the edge. Um, and Shardian and Blue Infern are already in the market on the other side. Really, I think they're trying to make their way to the stairs there, but use the market stalls as kind of cover. Shardian taking a lot of damage there. Already down to about half health. Gonna use that saturation there to get his health back up a little bit. Oh, there we go. Some close quarters combat right there. Alright, I think this will probably end the fight. It's so tough to disengage from these Blue fights. Is done. It's fallen. Shardian taking some damage, but still getting hits off on wow. both of these. Yeah, oh, he is. Almost there got him. Go. Wow, yeah, fought to the end there. GG. Alright, so Durngard takes that. Alright, so the last call for the Lion and the Sun. They're not yeah, online. So. so, in that case, Hold Golden Kill. And then line the sun. Yeah, it looks like both of those players are not online, so we're gonna. That's gonna default to Golden Kelp Golden winning Kelp. that. All right, so looking at the board here, we're just gonna take the teams that have the most wins. All right, uh, looks, so like it looks like Animal Jam, Durnguard, Harlem Spartans, Arian Inquisition, and Harlem Spartans all have four wins. Yep. Looks like uh, those are the teams that are going to be making it there. Alrighty. Um, uh, how do I end the stage here? Oh, here we go. End oh, yeah, we have to move on to the new stage, right? Yeah, here we go. All right. Perfect. So. Okay. Looks like there. Oh, is it trying to do a trying to do another round robin? We can just do a, a straight we can just up. Do the uh, first, uh... Well, we can just do a normal, you know, four yeah. person finale here. So let's just do that. 
All right, so do we want to do Animal Jam versus Harlem Spartans and then Orionite Inquisition versus Durngard? Uh, That works for me. And then the yep. winners of those two play for first. Yeah. All righty. So first up is... Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and announce that to everybody. So... These two beautiful individuals helped build this beautiful arena that you guys see in front of you. So, uh... Give me a sec to put this all in chat so people know what's happening. Alright, so we can yeah. just do Harlem Spartans versus Team Durngard. Mm-hmm. Alright. So first round I'll announce. Who's on those teams? Animal Jam versus Har Harlem Spartans and then Orionite Inquisition versus Durngard. Yeah, so we're I mean whichever off. order, just let me know so I can announce it. Yeah, we're, we're gonna fine. do Animal Jam um, versus Harlem Spartans first so that um, A versus B and then A B A B. I think that would be wait, best. Wait, wait, wait. Go, go over to um, uh, final stage. It wants us to do a round robin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'll just, I'll just tie out the other ones. We'll just do those first two ones in the yeah, round one. So, Harlem Spartans versus Team Durngard. Yep. Okay. And then whoever wins each of those will fight. Okay. So... So we have Rage Within and Lost Property. Getting DDoS. <laughs> and Ved and t -Sun. Wait, hold on. What's Silence team again? Silence Storm 6? What's, this, what's the name of this team? Are they in the finals? I don't uh, know. No, that was Venovia Xterra. They're not in the uh, okay. Were they, um, they win one, lose one? They. I can check the group. Yeah, they win one. They won the first one and then they lost yeah, the second one. Yeah, lost the second one. Okay. <clears throat> Alrighty. So. If the, it looks like both of these teams are ready. So. Alright, let's we start do it. You? Start the fight. I think next time we should probably stick away from a uh, round robin. <laughs> a little bit confusing. Yeah. Could, uh... There we go. Okay, it looks like, uh... Looks like... Looks like Lost and Rage are, uh, kind of swimming. And this circle part, definitely taking a few arrows to the face. From uh, Team Durngard. Vad and t -Sun both getting a lot of arrow shots off. Very familiar setup here. Team on the balcony, team approaching. Hiding behind those market stalls. Wow, Rage has already worked his way. Getting a few shots off. Looks like they're gonna make their way up the stairs. Rage getting in a lot of hits there. Focusing one player, interesting. Alrighty. Rage has um, fallen. Oh, Lost. Man. Getting some heal pots off. 
Oh, so little health left if you get. Oh, oh wow. sniped. Got sniped in the back. Ah, that sucks. Now keep in mind, the heal pots aren't just normal heal pots. You do get five seconds of slowness when you use them. Alrighty, I guess we're gonna go on to the next round. Alrighty. Boy. Got a win to stay in. They do have to win to stay in. <clears throat> Veds really playing this rooftop strat to their advantage. Kind of want to see them uh, stray off the rooftop, but uh, I guess they're very comfortable there. Um, looks like the other team is also sticking there. Lost and uh, Rage oh, hanging Lost out. Looks like has sneak on if you can pseudo uh -huh. decent. Sneak. Lost taking an arrow to the face. Wow, those arrows really do some damage. Gonna eat up, grab some uh, saturation there. I'm trying to dance around those arrows there for a little bit. Maybe get off a few arrows of his of his own. Looks like Rage is opting to try and go for the high ground here. Maybe grab some more <laughs> heals. Sorry guys, not much to find inside. <laughs> Ooh, these shots. That's some range. Ah, I see what they're doing. They're trying to drain drain the other team of arrows here. Kind of dodge a few. Regen a little bit. How are these guys' arrows, arrow situation looking? T-Sun and Ved. <laughs> Smacking each other. <laughs> Is friendly fire on in here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we allowed it. So it looks like T Sun and Ved have kind of run out of arrows. Maybe. Not yet. They still got enough. Couple, but they're they're. Ved taking an arrow directly to the face. Finally getting a bit of an approach. Maybe we'll see a fight happen. Maybe, 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 maybe. Oh, it's closer now, at least. They're at the bottom of the building. We can definitely start to see that final fight happen. Yep. Lost kind of circling around. Trying to get them to kind of break off. Ved and T-Sun still very comfortable on that rooftop. Who's shooting fireballs? That wasn't me. Wasn't me either. Rage deciding to kind of draw them out a little bit. Lost coming in. All right, here we go. Here we go. There's the first scuffle. There's always the warm up to the fight, but then the actual fight happens. Yep. Ooh, this is pretty even. This is very even. Right in the middle of the mark. Oh, oh the back. Sun's almost dead. Managing to get out of there. Looks like Fed might be on the back foot, kind of running there. Oh man, rage everyone here so low. Him. Barely managing to get oh, out. Oh, rage oh. is falling. Man, lost property escaped with like two hearts left. Wow. He definitely did. He's taking yeah, some he's... more damage. Wow, two hearts. Really on the back foot here. He's yeah, gonna need to get he's... to some high ground. I don't know, he's, he's, he's trapped. making the most of it. Oh, <laughs> you know, with bats. rage by the side. Uh, oh, there, there it, is. it is. Moving on to the finals. Wait, we got one more semifinals with the other yeah, two teams. Yeah, uh, Team oh, Dirt right, Guard right. moving on to the finals. 
Alrighty, uh, we've got Orionite Inquisition versus um, Animal Jam. Just make sure. Okay, prep Inquisition versus Animal Jam. Okay, Orionite Inquisition. And Animal Jam are ready to go. I guess we'll start this off, shall we? We're already at two hour mark, goddamn. So let's start this off. Again, a lot of strategy here that's gonna go on both teams. Both teams are have won both of their matches in the round robin. Ollie and Orlanth both sticking together. Kind of circling around, making sure that they're uh, topped up on f uh, food. Spricks falling into the lake. They might be able. They might capitalize on this. Ah. Okay. I might go a little faster than the last one. Yeah, they're gonna stick around this corner and really utilize it to their advantage. Orland taking some damage, but Sprix on the back foot. Ollie taking some damage, but he backs off. Orland and Sprix fighting Ooh, get it out. Ooh, stuck in the water. water. That's not where you want to be. That is not at all oh, where you want to be. Oh, wow, he got out of it. Somehow he manages to get out. Taking some more yeah, damage. Yeah, they do not want to be in that water. That's not a good place to be. Not at all. Skipper and Sprix have both gotten some time to regen. Orlanth has kind of made his way there, but he's going to back off and regroup with Ollie, who's made his way onto the center island. Sprix also on that center island. Working their way up. Slowly working their way towards them. All teams are basically back at full. Ollie takes time some to see if their second there, round has some damage. Back up a little bit. Jumps onto Sp Skipper. He might be able to take oh, Skipper out here. Oh man, falling off. Oh. That might be it. If oh, he can no. follow Skipper, it could be done. This could be. Oh, and Skipper has fallen. Bricks is Spricks almost done. Down there too. it is. Wow. That water. That water really. Do not gets get stuck in you. the water, everyone. Do not, not get a place to you want to be. <laughs> <laughs> we are entertained. <laughs> oh. Alrighty, I guess we're gonna start no off with the next around. round as both teams are pretty eager to go. So uh, let's, where uh, are they? Oh, I was looking in the wrong place. <laughs> let's start this off, shall we? Bricks and Skipper heading out to the uh, top. Ollie and Orlanth going into the water. This is really interesting. Ah, yeah, there's the underwater passageway. That's right. Interesting. I'm just going to kind of uh, chill out there. going to kind of move around, see what happens. Kind of get closer, see if they get closer to the market square. Both of them taking a decent amount of damage from arrows. I think I'm gonna kind of back off here, see what happens. Looks like Orlanth has kind of circled away from Ollie. Can't seem to locate him. Where did he go? Ah, there he is. Well, it took some damage there. Some major bow spam going on here. Orlanth might take take this opportunity to regen a little bit of health. 
Right at the bottom of the stairs, I see a fight coming. I do see a fight coming. If they slowly start making their way up, Ollie taunting them a little bit. Oh, he's gonna make his way up. He's gonna chase them. They're gonna make their way into the water, and Ollie's gonna get that first hit in on Sprix, and an Orlanth comes in to take oh, Skipper. Skipper this water really fight. low now. Oh no, Sprix is so oh, low. Oh, Sprix so low. Ollie just trying to get those shots off. Gets to regen a little bit. Orlanth is regening on the surface. He's going to try and keep Skipper in the water. Sprix again taking a lot of damage in the water. Skipper. Oh. Sprix landing right on top of Ollie. Ollie opting to go the other route. Orlanth caught. He's gonna run away a little bit. Ollie's gonna come back full health. Right onto Sprix and Skipper. He might be able to get away though. Skipper's full health. Oh god. Sprix is low. He's at half health. There's one more axe hit and he's dead. Maybe two. Man, this has been a hell of a round. This is one hell of a round. A lot of action going on here. Orland oh man, Orland low. stuck in the corner. Ollie falling. Oh, whoa. An upset. A real upset right there. Orland fighting Sprix. If he can get it. Oh, if he can get that kill, he can even this out. He can. Doesn't look like he's going to get the chance. Seeing a lot of players switch to those axes. Ooh. Oh man! Oh, and there's a one to one. Finally, the first time we've ever seen it. Yep. But I guess that's what happens as you actually get further into the competition. <laughs> Alrighty, I guess we'll uh, allow both of these teams again to kind of get some, uh, get a breather, make sure they uh, kind of ready up. Once they're get their ready. clicking fingers, nice yep. and uh, ready. Uh, let's start this next fight, shall we? Oh, and it's the rain sets in just in time to be dramatic. Ollie and Orlanth both opting to take onto this ledge right here, this balcony area. Skipper and Sprix both have their shields out. Skipper's already pretty low. I think he got hit by a couple of arrows. He's gonna use that cooked beef to kinda heal up a little bit. Ollie's taking some high ground here, moving on the moving on the trees. Orlanth as well following him. Both of them are kinda just sitting hanging out on that tree. <clears throat> Maybe you wanna see if uh Skipper and Sprix make any sort of move. <laughs> Skipper taking a few shots. Still, both both parties are at full health, or almost full health. No one's taking any real damage. Making their way slowly towards each other. Yep. Hopefully we'll see some action here soon. Some of the better fights we've seen. All but this is pretty boring. Right. Oh, there we go. Into the water. Ollie and Orland kind of kind of circling around trying to see if they can get somewhere with this Let's see if this will end from a standoff into some more action like it was the first first round of this fight still that standoff
Keeper and Sprigs both taking a little bit of damage from arrows here and there. Um, Orlanth and Ollie really not, really have their shields out. Just kind of slowly moving. The next tournament will definitely have less arrows, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe or no 10. arrows. <laughs> maybe no arrows, maybe that is the right way to go. So around this time I wish I could s just nudge people invisibly off off the edge here <laughs> so that they have to fight. Well you could do slash V. And then go into game mode 1 and then nudge people. You totally could do that. <laughs> These fights are getting longer. Well the stakes are higher. True, the stakes are very much so higher. Oh, Skipper and Sprix have made their way into the water, onto the banks of the oasis. Orland okay, taking here that we fight go. to Skipper. Oh. Ollie and Sprix. Oh Orland. man. If you can follow Skipper, you might get that kill. Nope. Ollie oh. coming in, taking on Skipper. He oh, might be able giving... to take Skipper out here. Oh, he needs to follow on that one. And he doesn't. They both decide oh. to kind of go. Oh, they were both so low. Oof. Sprix might be low here. Skipper coming in, trying to get some hits on a dog. Uh, on all. And there goes oh, Skipper. There goes uh, Skipper. And now Sprix is on the back foot here. Back. He's gonna be trying to. There we go. Taking some arrow hits. We've only seen one 1v2 actually work well, and, well, the people beaten were both the admins, so that doesn't really count, <laughs> but... Sprix is almost down, and there we and go. there it is. Orionite in right. position takes that one. Alrighty, that All right, means... Alright, so now we need to do the losers for third place. Yeah, so... Then we'll do our first Carlos place round. Spartan versus Animal Champ. Um, let's give them a few seconds of breather. Um, so that they can get their thoughts together, Animal Jam can, you know, um, yeah. So, uh, well that's weird, it just picked turn guard, oh I see what happened, go ahead and uh, back. Alrighty. Well, oh. Skipper just left the game. Oh, and he's back. And he's back. Alrighty. <sighs> you know what? Uh, I can I can remake the kit real quick. No, let's let's not change things this far into the tournament. Or do people really want to remove them? Um, let's ask. Do sixteen arrows. I can do that. Yeah, even do ten. Yeah, you can do even less. I, I I'm okay with removing them. Go ahead and make a new bracket here so that uh, we can just have it not be screwy. So we've got Team Dirt.
All right. New kit is with 16. That shouldn't really change anything. So yeah, just just reduce the arrows. I think yeah, that's I perfect. Yeah, just reduce the arrows. Alrighty. Um. So third place bracket, shall we go? Yep. That's gonna be Harlem Spartans versus Animal Jam. Rage Within is offline from Harlem Spartans. Oh yeah, um, who did he want in this place? Alright. Oh, Way Rayward in there. Rayward? Alrighty. Yep. Let me go. Let me go change that real quick. Alrighty, that's good to go. So let's go. Uh, let's reload that real quick. Versus who is the Animal Jams? Okay, Rayward and Lost Property on Harlem Spartans. And Skipper and Sprix on uh, this side. Start, shall we? Yep, let's do it. All right, the Harlem Spartans are off, and I head up onto the uh, balcony a little bit. Last is gonna—they're just gonna kind of check out where the other team is going. Looks like Sprix and Skipper are not going to opt to do that. They're gonna fall onto the bank, back up a little bit. And head towards their opponents. Rayward and Lost are really just sitting on the stairway. Just kind of sitting and waiting. Really not using arrows as much. Sprix and Skipper already kind of sitting around. Lost and... Uh, Ray were just kind of sitting there, turtled on the uh, on the stairs. This is a really interesting strategy here. Sprix heading up, Rayward moving down a little bit. Just holding the stairway. Both sides, not entirely sure on oh, what they're supposed we go. to be doing. There we go. Skipper getting low, lost. Really doing some damage with that axe. Sprix oh, falling to Sprix Rayward. And Skipper falling to Lost. Alright, we'll let both sides kind of heal up. Make sure they're ready to go. And let's start the next round, shall we? And they're off again. Looks like Skipper and Sprix have made it to the island. Rayward's going to take them on. Lost Property is going to come in. Try and do some Ooh, damage. Rayward's, Rayward's getting really low. low. Very, very low. Going to take some heal pots, but it's going to be very slow. Sprix taking on both Lost and Rayward. Lost is still right on his tail. Oh, we're going down. And we're going to go down in here. Lost is going to follow through. Rayward taking down Skipper. And Sprix and Lost. Oh, and there, and we there go. it is. Harlem and Spartans Harlem taking Spartans. third place and Animal Jam in fourth. GG Animal Jam. I guess, um, 
Alright, so who do we have who do we have going? Orina Inquisition and Team, Team Durnguard. Alright, these are this is the grand finals. Do we want to do this best of five or just best of three? It's gone on long enough. Oh, yeah, <laughs> let's, let's do the best go. of three. Alrighty. Inquisition. Turn guard. Alrighty. Looks like Inquisition is in place. Let's check out Dern guard real quick. Dern guard is also in place. What? No bow. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's why nobody's firing arrows. I forgot to give them bows. You took um, out the bow. I might have accidentally took out, taken out the bow. No wonder it was so much more interesting. <laughs> uh, do you want to go ahead and give them each a bow? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, give Ved bow one, and then Sun bow one. There we go. Both sides all have bows. Uh, Ollie and Orlanth, I don't know. No. Uh, give Ollie bow one, and then Orlanth bow one. All right. Each each side ha now has one bow and sixteen arrows. All right. I guess let's begin this final, shall we? Yep. I'm gonna put bows in the uh, the boxes so that they can just grab them. And they're off. Ved and T Sun, opting to go onto the roof again. Let's get some arrows off. Looks like Ollie and Orlanther. Very familiar position here in the market. I'm gonna try and waste some arrows from T-Sun and Ved's side. Again, the number of arrows has been halved, so we shouldn't see too much more of this standoff style. Um, knowing Ollie and Orland, I don't think they're going to necessarily pull out bows as much uh, once their opponents have uh, kind of run out of arrows. Again, sticking very, very close to each other. Both, both of these fights are... Both of these f teams are extremely strategic in how they're going to approach um, these fights. Ollie taking some shots, but still at full health. Both t and Ved kind of dancing around, not too sure. They don't want to, I don't think they want to waste too many arrows. Looks like Orland is going to make his way to the stairs, but so both of them have their shields out. Just kind of trying to get the other team to waste some arrows. Ollie makes his way onto the stairs, getting the first hit on Ved. Going to back off. Orland is going to stick in there. Ollie's going to come is in getting bloody. and do some damage to Ved. And Ved might go down here. Oh my There's god. There's Ved done. Falling did he fall off the roof death. and die? He did. <laughs> Ollie's really low here, but Orlanth coming in, saving him. He's got a, extra, a little bit of extra health. T Sun might fall here to arrows. He's oh, gonna... good use of the arena to get away from him. Yeah, he might actually be able to some heal health, up. But Orlanth and Ollie are both hot on his tail. Orlanth and Ollie both back up to full health, and they're gonna take this fight directly to T Sun. Doing a lot of damage with those axes, and T Sun is low. And there we go. Warrior oh. Knight Inquisition takes the first round. Alrighty. Let's see this next one. Alrighty. I guess both teams are prepared to kind of go into the next round. Both teams, both sides are moving. Let's see if it ends here. We go to a they, third they, match. Uh, they can't open the bow chests. They can't open the bow chests. Of course not. 
Uh, All right, well, I'm just gonna have to hand them bows then. Io, could you do the other side? Sun and Ved. Yes, it's in it's in the uh, chest. Yeah, so there's two in the chest. Way. You'll just have to hand it to them manually. They're just normal oak, normal bows. Just normal there's bows. There's normal bows. They're already in there. I'm. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Everyone's got a bow. Get this going. Alrighty. Let's start this up, shall we? There's a few more bows in there in case we need a round three. Fortunately, they still can't. Alright. Game, game point. Yep. Tournament point. Tournament okay. point. Vet and Tsen again. Taking on to this very familiar position. Ollie and uh, Orland's gonna take this same kind of strategy. Approach this the exact same way. Using the market and trees as cover. Um, really forcing Ved and uh, T-Sun to use those arrows. Well, it's gonna kind of dance around a little bit. Now it should be noted, right? This isn't normal bare bones PvP. This is very, very different because of armor weight and potions being nerfed in that health pots give you slowness. So there is a lot more slowness that occurs. Um, movement is not as easy. So it's really, really situational. There's also no crits as they exist yeah. normally in Minecraft, so the combat here is much more refined. Players have spent a long time mastering the battle style. You see them competing in their own duels before the tournament starts to try and get as good as possible. And all of these players have definitely proven that practice makes perfect. Oh yeah, for sure. Ollie getting onto that market stall, Orlanth coming up. Both of them are just kind of in a standoff, not really moving. Ollie coming oh, down onto the stairs. I don't know stairs. if that was a good idea, Ollie. Orlanth coming in from behind, gonna take on T-Sun. Ved. Ved falling to Ollie very quickly. T-Sun, Ollie right on his tail. He's so low. One more hit and he's oh, dead. Oh man. And, and there, there it is. Oh. There it is. Orient Inquisition wins the first Narolian tournament of this uh, of this iteration of Atlas. Alrighty. Um, again, a big thank you to uh, to these two individuals sitting in the hot air balloon who uh, designed this beautiful arena. It was a uh, it was a very interesting fight this time around. So uh, thank you again. Thank you to all the participants. Thank you. Uh, hope you guys had some fun beating the shit out of each other. <laughs> uh, so As is great. Yep. Uh, good fights. Good fights. Definitely there will be uh, uh, fewer, if not no, arrows. <laughs> yeah. the next we can get a little more uh, up close and personal with these fights. Yep. Good job, everyone. And uh, with that, it's been three hours. Three and a half hours. <laughs> Is it two and a half hours? Three and a half hours? Two and a half hours? Something like that? Time I haven't up. eaten lunch yet. I'm very hungry. So I think I'm going to end the stream here. Yep, I need to get some food as well. Yep. So, uh, yeah. Uh, congrats to everybody who competed. For sure, for sure. Alrighty. Uh, we'll, uh, Goodbye, everyone on the stream. Yep.